Well, Haymarket is always uh, there. The ghost of Haymarket is never quite laid. The ghost of Haymarket is always there, Chicago and then. Because it dealt with labor primarily. It dealt with equity primarily. Remember the fight for the eight-hour day. We think about that throughout the world. That case, of course, resonated. The indignation, which there were, as you know, uh, people like Tolstoy and, and Bernard Shaw all spoke out against it, and William Morris all spoke, and, and William, I think William Dean Howells did. I'm not sure if Mark, Mark Twain did or not. He didn't. But there they were, and the Chicago industrialists, uh, the, one of the spokesmen was a very enlightened one named Lyman Gage. He said, maybe we should commute the sentence. They weren't there, and they all agreed except for one industrialist, Marshall Field I, flowing white mustache, distinguished merchant prince. He said, hang the bastards. And they did. Four were hanged. And later on, of course, the greatest pups of all governors any state ever had, John Peter Altgeld, looked over the records and said, this was a frame up. This was a farce. And those who survived, the three of the four who survived, he pardoned, much to the destruction of his political career.